Six most disturbing force encounters caught on camera by Chillin' Scares. What's good? How your day going? Morning, evening, and night, whenever you're watching this video. Hey, I ain't gonna do a long intro. I ain't gonna talk your ears off about to jump right to the video. Yo, if you wanna check out the original video, link will be in the description below. But let's go. See? I told you, nigga. <laughs> April of 2020, a kid named Noah decided to go truck camping in the forests of Sun River, Oregon. He was driving down the road when he thought he found a good spot and drove deep into the forest with his truck. His first night there, he was woken up to sounds outside. As he continued listening, he realized they were footprints and from the pattern assumed it was a person. He grabbed his nearby GoPro and started filming. I'm currently sleeping in the back of my truck right now. I don't even know what time it is. <clears throat> and there's someone walking around my truck right now. If you can hear that, it's pretty loud. Um, he's been walking around for like 20 minutes already. I don't really know what to do. I'm a little freaked out right now. And it's like pitch black outside. And like, this doesn't make any sense because I parked somewhere where you couldn't see no one was on that road. Wait, sh he's touching my truck. How am I supposed to get him away? Nigga, start the car up and dip. He's literally, he's literally knocking. He's literally knocking on my truck. The canopy, the back door is locked. I can never been scared before ever. I don't think he knows that. Whoever was out there knocks on the truck and tries the door handles, all while Noah sits inside, forced to just listen to it happen. Fortunately, he had his doors locked, so no one could get inside. After multiple minutes, footsteps are finally heard leaving. When it got light outside, Noah drove back to the road and back home. Later that morning, he found handprints all over his truck, specifically on his back window from someone trying to see inside, and a lot on his door handles from someone trying to get inside. Um, handprints there, a lot of scratches, stuff like that. Um, uh, dragging his finger on my side of my truck. Uh, well, it looks like to be trying to get inside my truck. Um, that's really all I could tell from when he was walking around. More handprints trying to get in my truck. Yeah, you have um, no at gun least the back mind. canopy was locked, but, um, yeah, that was the result, so. For someone to even have been out there in the first place at that time of night is extremely odd. And it couldn't have been a police officer or anything because no one identified themselves. The person didn't even have a light, and this was in the middle of a pitch black forest. No one ever posted an update on the situation, suggesting that he never found out who was outside his truck that night. When the <laughs> just about to ask playing real quick. It's a little hard to believe. Uh, all right, so someone out there with the American flag who I'm quite sure understand their right to carry to bear arms. Oh, bullshit. Because I know how to have mine. <laughs> nigga, what the fuck you talking about? Nigga, I'm, nigga, no, I got my shit with me, nigga. All I'm saying is this, dog. It's a little hard to believe, you know what I'm saying? Somebody, someone with the American flag on their shit don't understand their right to bear arms. Shit. I love these rights. Like, I'm just smoking weed. <laughs> Stop playing with me, dog. Let's go back real quick. Let me see what we got, dog. I don't know. Maybe he just didn't want to resort to that yet. I don't, I don't know. Kyle Burgess was on an early morning jog. Let's go back real quick and see what Kyle Burgess Suggesting that he never found out who was outside his truck that night. Kyle Burgess was on an early morning jog on a trail in Provo, Utah, when he thought he saw a baby bobcat on the trail up ahead of him. Mama, not too he immediately far. pulled out his phone and started recording. But it wasn't a bobcat, rather it was a baby cougar. The video then shows the mother cougar coming into view. Yeah, now you gonna turn your ass around, huh? Yo, what's good, my nigga? <laughs> she hit the corner like... <laughs> Hell, no 
having trouble now. Fuck you looking at dog. Oh, oh, oh. You, 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 you. Oh, dog, that's Rrr. creepy for real though, dog. Rrr. Damn. Rrr. Oh. No, bro! Come on, we got a gun or something. No! Get the f away! Get the f away! Go! 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 No! Come on, man! No! Go away! <clears throat> go away! Please go away! Oh! Oh! Nice and slow. Come on! Ah! I know he's scared for his life right now, dog. No. Kyle is left in a standoff with the cougar as he slowly backs away, trying to scare it off with loud noises. But the cougar continues to follow him, and at times even lunges at him. Me. At one point, Kyle turns his head away from the animal so as not to trip as he's backing up. This prompts the cougar to try and attack, getting within only feet of him. Yep. Go away. Oh, don't turn your back. My, my bad, dog. My bad, dog. Come on, man. Tell me this shit ain't good, dog. I thought his truck was behind him. Like he was about to jump back in his truck or something. But no, yeah, because he's walking through that mud. Ah. Go away. No, you taste, dude. I'm trying to attack me. Your eyes are looking away from you. Dude. No, go away. Go away. No. Boy, that shit alone would have tripped me up. No! Yeah, get away. Oh, thank you, dog. My anxiety's going crazy now, boy. What happened? Why you dipped up? Yeah, get away. Face. That's right, nigga. I was just about to get on your motherfucking ass. Stop playing. The encounter lasts for an entire six minutes. <laughs> get all big boy. I thought I went back a bit. Yeah, get away from me. Face. Man, I'm about to get the shit out, dog, nigga. The encounter lasts for an entire six minutes. It ends when Kyle throws a large rock, scaring the animal into running away. Cougar encounters with hikers are extremely dangerous and can often result in a much worse outcome. Had Kyle tried to run or failed to look and sound intimidating, the animal's instincts to chase and commit to an attack would have kicked in. Damn. Whew, we got a hey, I'm glad, dog. Good, boy. In February of 2013, a few residents of a neighborhood in northern Oregon filed reports of strange noises coming from the forest. The noises were described as what sounded like eerie laughter. It was loud and echoed throughout the nearby area. One of the residents that heard the sounds went outside to where they seemed to be coming from and started recording. Some think the noises are being made by foxes or coyotes, but others don't think so, saying coyotes, for example, have a much more canine-like shriek and aren't nearly as loud. It's still unclear when exactly was making the noise that night. Lisa is a girl who owns a YouTube channel where she documents her life living in a van. She travels across North America recording her experience as she goes. I like that uh, motto, man. It's real live wildlife. Across North Let's America, go. recording her experience as she goes. The videos almost always follow more of a vlog style, showing the different forests or places she stays at overnight, or the journeys to get there. However, in February of 2022, something different was uploaded. 
Boy, Sweet people love to event. see love to see people bullshit. Boy, that motherfucker had two hundred forty five thousand views, dog. <laughs> Twenty twenty two, something different was uploaded. Lisa was sleeping in her van when she woke up to the sound of knocking right next to her ear. It was four thirty in the morning, and someone was outside. She sat there frozen, not knowing what to do. The knock then came again, and this time she uttered out a confused hello. There was no response. It would be completely silent for the next 15 minutes. Eventually, she heard footsteps coming back, and this time grabbed her camera to record. Somebody's back here again. I hear footprints. Hello? How can I help you? It's 4.30 in the morning. I don't feel safe. Who are you? There was no response. She quietly got up and went to the front of her van to look outside. In the distance, there were headlights. The car backs away and so she turns the camera to herself and begins explaining what just happened. A few minutes into this and she hears footsteps again. I hear footprints. Yeah, somebody was just here again three times now. The third time I looked out, they were walking on foot. I seen them walking and they hid behind the, the uh, tree there. And then they went to um, a car, the same car that was here earlier. Well, that was back and then it backed away and left again three times in one night. This time, um, they didn't knock though. They were just walking around. I could hear them walking around the van. When it got light outside later that morning, she got out of her van and found footprints all around it. So I come out this morning and you can see footprints. Look at this one. This is mine. I'll show you. There's mine. See? They were actually... There's some more... Boy, what the fuck? I know there uh, ain't no foot. Actually... Because this, this is like a, a big foot and some toes. Unless I'm just tripping, See, but I know it was human when it knocked on the wood, but I'm just saying about the footprint. There's some more. Hey, the hell? They came here. They were standing here, as you can see. A lot of viewers believe the man was simply trying to steal valuables from the van. But why then come back two more times after you heard someone talking mm -hmm. from inside? Because at first so I, I was like, maybe it was someone who was reaching out thinking like, oh, maybe someone need help. But after you, when you clearly hear someone inside respond, hello, and then let you know, look, they good, get the hell away from them. Yeah, no, at that point, yeah, they, ain't, they ain't coming to steal shit. They ain't coming to harm. They came here. They were standing here, as you can see. A lot of viewers believe the man was simply trying to steal valuables from the van. But why then come back two more times after you heard someone talking from inside? It's likely the man had worse intentions. Treasure. He looking at that. Stop playing. Damn, she got that ass. It's taken by. This video was taken by a mountain biker in Vancouver, Canada. He had sent up his phone camera to get a shot of him riding down a part of the mountain. Just as he comes down and passes the camera, he suddenly hits the brakes and starts calling out. He then comes back in the frame, walking back up the mountain with his bike. As he does so, he keeps looking back behind him. Blocking his path was a bear, who was now following oh, him. Oh, shit. Hey, hey, what the Ooh, fuck? yeah, turn that motherfucker around. Boy, keep going, boy. What you looking for? Hey! Oh, my hey. gosh. Dog. Hey! Hey! Come on. Come on. Hey! Hey! Damn, hey! The kid uses his bike to make himself look bigger. He hits it on the ground a few times, causing the bear to retreat back to the camera where it knocks it over. The bear then stands over the camera for a while longer. 
Finally, it retreats completely. Yeah, because my stupid ass thought he stole get back. the fucking camera, but obviously we see the video. <laughs> Dog, I'm hella glad these stories are, are not ending and nothing bad happening, dude. Finally, it retreats completely, allowing the kid to retrieve his phone and get back to safety. Smart move, too, bro. On September 6, 2016, a Reddit post was made linking to a video that claimed to feature a weird noise from the woods. Included was text that read, I put the kids to bed tonight and heard this loud, really bizarre sound coming from the woods outside my house. It lasted about 15 to 20 minutes. We have a handful of neighbors nearby, but this was too loud to be coming from them. It seemed to be coming from the direction of a nearby AM radio tower, but can those towers make noises like this? I googled around but couldn't find anything similar. This is the video. Commenters immediately started Creepy speculating what the sound fuck. could have been. One of them suggested it, it could have been the <clears throat> and it looked like something was moving around, but I can't tell. But that yeah, sound of high winds fuck. passing through a nearby cell tower, the metal on metal being what created the eerie tone. But the poster replied saying there was almost no wind that night, and even on days when it was windy, he never heard this sound. Another said the sound was extremely consistent with what it sounds like to drill into a strut or support that's made of high carbon steel but said that it would be weird to be doing this that late into the night. To this day, it's still unknown what the sound in the video actually is. Mm. Yo, this was creepy, though. Yeah, I don't want to hear that. Ooh, man, I was not expecting them freaking animal stories to be in this mud. Because, I don't know, going, going into it with the title especially, I was thinking like some, all right, some, some chilling-ish, like maybe some ghost-ish, maybe some mysterious-ish, like whatever, right? But man, when he saw that baby cougar, I was like, oh, this ain't about to be cute as, as it's starting off, dog. Because, yo, whenever you see the baby, more than likely you're going you're gonna to see the mama, dog. So I was like, yup. And then, boom, as soon as he hit that corner, mama hit the corner like, what's good? I was like, fuck. And luckily, this mug definitely ended that way. I don't know what made the, well, he said, I thought, well, he said, the, uh, when he threw the rock or whatever, what made the cougar run or whatever. But man, a freaking bear, though. I was just glad when the bear came onto the camera. I was like, okay, luckily this bear does look little. And I was like, shit, though, but that could mean the same damn thing, dog. But with him picking the bike up, because yo, and crazy part is, I think, I think we learned something like that from Casual Geographic. Look at my stupid ass, forgot it. Because I was thinking, like, dog, I'd have threw the bike and dip. But it was smart. I forgot, yeah, make it made itself look bigger, you know what I'm saying? Look more intimidating. Boom, make it sounds like, oh, that was so freaking smart, dog. I'm so glad, dog, you knew to do that, man. Definitely glad this all ended well as well. But yo, I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here and go ahead and enjoy my night. You go ahead and do the same thing enjoy your day, morning, evening, night. Yo, at the time of you watching this, um, the Skin of Marink found footage of full movie, full movie reactions should be up or coming the next day. Yo, it's gonna be <laughs> yo. Ah, I'm about to go get about it and go enjoy my day. Go enjoy your day more than even night. Whenever this video, no, but I go enjoy your day, dog. I'm out.